Hi, this is Wayne Tully, and today we're just going to ink this. I'm not going to use the full, uh, well, the Sharpie marker on all the lines. I just want to get the, some of the thicker outline uh, with the Sharpie marker. And the rest is going to be like uh, Pigma Micron. Uh, I just want to get the these bold lines in there. And the rest is going to be a thinner ink pen. at the back of there and then maybe the outline of this and then that's it with the Sharpie in with a, an R3 Pigma Micron just gonna go over everything maybe straighten up some parts For the most part, it's just a case of tracing over the pencil lines. I've been given careful, careful thought to what um, types of videos um, I'm going to create in the future. And I'm definitely going to go do some uh, experimental art videos and just something that, um, you know, sort of like help me as an artist as well. Because, um, you know, I'm doing these videos, but I'm not really, I'm not really showing you either the final um, design or anything like that or, you know, um, I'm not like an expert, I've just taught myself to draw and I just draw what I like to draw so I'd like to do different sorts of videos it's something that I've uh, probably talked about in the past um, and it'll be much much better if I try and do different types of videos which uh, sort of like help other people as well as myself because uh, we're all learning as artists, really. Well, I am as well. <laughs> you know, there's things that I could learn more, and I am learning more. You know, and there's things that hopefully that I do want to hear, which might may help you if you want to draw some things. I might just inspire. You, hopefully. Um. By far, there's loads of there's there's much better videos out there, but um, I try to do my best with you know the sort of um, equipment I do have. Um, that's video equipment, but I hope to make these videos a lot better in the future. As and when, I don't know. <laughs> but I'm trying to come up with different types of videos as well, because I don't really want to leave it the way I've been doing it for the last few years. I'm going to do different types. I'm going to do more painting as well. So I've. Uh, I tidied up my shed and made that into a painting area which I haven't actually used yet which has uh, been a bit disappointing but I hope to start using that very soon so I'm just um, 
going over a lot of the detail you know that I've drawn in pencil which is always a good idea to try and go over the pencil lines and then just improve it as you go along you know if you find some certain lines that don't seem to work try and change them also um, last week um, I had to take my dog to the vets um, which I, she had to be put to sleep so that was a sort of an upsetting time as well um, you know so I've been been quite busy you know with, what, what with Easter and um, just like a bank holiday weekend and just time to reflect and other stuff going on so life stuff Sometimes it's not good, but at least I can come back to drawing, doing stuff that I like. Let's try lots of detail. Yeah, my dog, by the way, uh, Bonnie. She was like 14 years old. Um, she was like a, a collie cross uh, with some other breed. I'm not <laughs> not too sure. Um, yeah, she she suddenly sort of fell ill and her back, her back legs couldn't move. You know, she couldn't walk, and so uh, I just had to get her in emergency vet and. They told me like uh, it doesn't look good so she had to be put to sleep yeah. it was quite sad but see how life goes on but it seems strange we have, you know a pet um, they're always part of your life you know they become one of the family and Very sad. Anyway, I'm just trying to add more detail under here. Just uh, maybe add a bit, uh, bit of shading under there, like I did there, because this is like blood coming from its eyes. I like the I like the mixture of the th you know the thick and thin lines. I think it works quite well if you take your time to do that. And that's that's something that I like to do more of when I'm inking any drawing. I sort of like uh, think you know where the ink lines are gonna go. Is there some sort of design to it? Um, which there is with like pumpkin shapes, you know, you can follow the lines and try and, you know, do different inking effects. Because you don't have to do lines all the way through these bits. It's always a good, good idea to try and experiment. I've ordered some more of these Pigma Micronus because they're just, they're excellent. And in upcoming videos, I'll be showing you, um, you know, like um, water colouring over these ink pens because they're, they're like waterproof. Um, but I'm using this card at the moment, which I've used in previous videos, and I think it's, I think your drawings last a bit longer. You know, if you if you care about that, you know, I mean, a lot of people can scan the drawings in and. 
you know, they'll last forever on the hard drive or, you know, you put them to discs or anything like that, but yeah, the good pens. once we've finished inking ready for the colour also in the future I definitely want to and I've said this in the past uh, I want to go and do some uh, digital colouring and you know mess around with that uh, I've been doing some in the in the holidays which have been sort of okay but I need to learn a bit more about Photoshop and things like that and actually uh, maybe do a short course on it and then I'll probably improve. I've been trying to get, get to grips with layers using them. Um, particularly like just cut just colouring in like the drawings that I do once I've scanned them in. Um, that's what interests me more rather than creating art from scratch you know through uh, digital software or anything like that I, mean, I probably would do that in the future once the uh, the confidence of using software and stuff to colour and draw and stuff you know once I get more confident in that but it's definitely something I really want to do so I think it'll take some of my artwork to sort of a, another level. It'll probably be interesting to do that as maybe like a, a video series of me like, I don't know, learning how to do, how to, you know, do certain things, maybe walking through the different processes and maybe seeing different drawings that I do uh, be coloured or something like that. And, might make an interesting series like sort of like me learning as I go along I thought about that as well so yeah there's there's lots of different ideas that I can do for like new videos where I'm not just drawing the same same old things like this but yeah I definitely need to plan a few more things out once I get um, life's Ted moments sort of out of the way and you know get over them Just try and sketch a bit of detail I don't want it to be too much detail in you know in the mouth area because I can I can blend up some good um, colours there maybe things like that more details. Always try and look at the other side what you've done. Just try and make it look sort of like it's um, not symmetrical but sort of similar. Certain lines and things.
like I said it's always fun to draw stuff like this you could carry on and on you know with all the details but I think I'll stop there uh, I think the next video definitely uh, we'll just get some other Prismacolor pencils we we'll mix it up with some uh, markers or something like that as well just to add to it and colour this in after I've erased all the pencil lines so yeah we'll do that in the next video and keep on drawing and cheers now <laughs>